Hey guys, I want to show you a tool to help you map tempo in the fastest way possible, almost in real time, and this is how it works. The first thing we want to do is right-clicking the track and changing the track time base to time. So that way, when we change the tempos, the contents of the clip won't move. Then using shift and dragging, we're going to align the first time of the song with the first time of a measure. Now we are going to the action list and when we are there, we are going to import the custom actions I will leave in the description down below. Those custom actions make this process possible. Now we're going to play the song and we are going to press the S key at every measure so we can split the item in measures. And we are going to do it like this until the song ends. Okay, now we have the track split in measures. Now we're going to check if I forgot to do a split in the first time. Yeah, I forgot to do so, so let's do it. And now we're going to press the J key and hold it until all the tempo markers are done automatically. Now we're going to check the results. And we have a problem, this measure is a little bit too late. So using one of the shortcuts I included in the description, we press Ctrl Q and hold it, move the mouse until the tempo marker is where we want it to be, and then release. Okay, that's much better. So let's check the rest of the song. And we've got another problem here and it is that we've got some up bit strikes and you tend to press the S key uh, on those but that's not correct. So we're gonna press and hold Ctrl Q and move the mouse cursor until it's fixed and release. That's much better. And in that way we will check the whole song until it's complete. Now we will see the case where we have a song with odd time signatures. So we do the same thing. We play the song and with the S key we split the measures. So this song goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4. So we have to insert a 5-4 time signature in the longer part. But before that we're gonna do the previous measures with the J key until we reach that part. Let's check it. Yeah, I went over it. We're gonna undo the last three measures. So we locate ourselves in the measure that has the 5-4 and press the K command instead and change it to 5-4. And for the following measures we need to press K again and change it back to 4-4. Then we keep doing the J command as we would normally do. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2. Okay, it's done. That's perfect. There are several uses for this tool. For example, you can take 
a track with irregular tempo and make arrangements on top of it or you can take a live track and transcribe it as I have for the transcription of, of the symphonic uh, metallic orchestra concert and also you can use live footage or stuff that was recorded without metronome and convert it into something that has constant tempo and that way you can do for example video clips of songs using live footage and the original audio like we're gonna do right now so first we right click on the track panel and show the master track so we can see the points of the tempo track changes and now we're gonna change the track time base to project time base because now we want the tempo changes to affect our clips then we will double click the first tempo marker and change it to the original songs tempo which is 175 and then we're gonna right click and drag to select the following point and then we're going to delete them with the delete key after we import the original song into another track we change that track time base to time and then we align the beginning of the original song to the beginning of the live clip so as you can hear they sound in sync and now we will lower the volume of the live clip so we can see the video with the live footage and the original audio playing in sync I want to thank David Ramirez and Julian Roballo for coming up with these questions and challenges. They helped me come up with this solution, with this way to map tempo as fast as you can. And I would like you to also ask me your questions and tell me what you want to do with Reaper. So maybe together we can come up with new solutions and making this platform even bigger. So yeah, thank you guys, see you next time.